Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Erasers, those humble tools that effortlessly correct our mistakes, have an intriguing history and manufacturing process. Join us on a journey through time as we uncover the evolution of erasers and delve into the intricate methods behind their creation. So let's erase away the mysteries and uncover the detailed history of how erasers are made. Our story begins centuries ago, in ancient times, when early civilizations utilized rudimentary materials to erase mistakes. One such material was the natural rubber from the rubber tree. These primitive erasers were effective, but lacked the precision and efficiency of modern erasers. It wasn't until the 18th century that a breakthrough occurred, ushering in a new era of eraser production. In 1770, English chemist Joseph Priestley discovered that a substance called rubber could be used to erase pencil marks. However, natural rubber had its limitations, leading to the search for alternatives. It wasn't until the mid-19th century that Charles Goodyear introduced the world to vulcanized rubber, a process that significantly improved the durability and erasing capabilities of rubber. With the advent of vulcanized rubber, the modern eraser as we know it began to take shape. Companies like Faber-Castell and Stadler revolutionized eraser production, mass-producing high-quality erasers for widespread use. These early erasers were typically made by mixing rubber with various additives and pigments to achieve desired properties such as flexibility, abrasiveness, and color. As demand for erasers grew, manufacturers continually refined their production processes to enhance quality and efficiency. Let's take a closer look at the modern manufacturing process of erasers. The first step in eraser production involves the preparation of raw materials. The primary ingredient, rubber, is sourced from rubber trees or synthetic sources. Once obtained, the rubber is processed into a malleable form suitable for eraser production. Additives such as sulfur, oils, and pigments are carefully measured and mixed to create the desired eraser properties. In the mixing and compounding stage, the raw materials are combined in precise proportions to form a homogeneous mixture. This mixture is then processed through a series of machines to ensure uniformity and consistency. The mixing process may vary depending on the desired characteristics of the eraser, such as hardness, elasticity, and color. Quality control measures are implemented to monitor the mixture's properties at every stage. Once the mixture is thoroughly blended, it's ready for molding and shaping. This is where the eraser takes its final form, whether it's a traditional block eraser, a pencil cap eraser, or a novelty-shaped eraser. After molding, the erasers undergo a curing process to enhance their durability and erasability. This is typically achieved through vulcanization, a chemical process that strengthens the rubber. During vulcanization, the erasers are subjected to heat and pressure, causing the rubber molecules to cross-link and form a resilient, elastic structure. This step is crucial for ensuring that the erasers maintain their shape and performance over time. The final step in the manufacturing process involves finishing and packaging the erasers for distribution. This includes trimming any excess material, inspecting for defects, and applying branding or labeling. Once packaged, the erasers are ready to be shipped to retailers or directly to consumers where they'll embark on their journey to correct countless mistakes and inspire creativity. And there you have it, folks, the detailed history of how erasers are made, from ancient civilizations to modern manufacturing facilities. We've explored the evolution of erasers and witnessed the intricate process behind their creation. As we conclude the intricate tapestry of eraser history and manufacturing, 
we've uncovered a story that spans centuries of innovation, creativity, and resilience. From the rudimentary tools of ancient civilizations to the precision-engineered marvels of today, erasers have been constant companions in our pursuit of perfection. As we reflect on the evolution of erasers, we're reminded of the relentless human drive to improve, adapt, and overcome challenges. The journey from raw materials to finished products is a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of countless individuals who have contributed to the advancement of eraser technology. Every eraser, no matter its shape or size, carries with it a legacy of craftsmanship and innovation. Each one embodies the collective wisdom of generations past, as well as the promise of endless possibilities for the future. So, as you hold an eraser in your hand, take a moment to appreciate the journey it has undertaken to reach you. Let it inspire you to embrace your mistakes, to refine your creations, and to never shy away from the pursuit of perfection. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of eraser history and manufacturing. May it serve as a reminder of the boundless potential that lies within each of us. Until we meet again, keep erasing, keep creating, and keep writing your own story. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.